Well, hello everyone. How are you today? <laughs> are you doing all right? Is everything okay? Well, if you're doing all right, good. I'm glad to hear it. Because as I always say, it is hard to be doing good these days with all the stuff that's just going on in the world. But for everybody that's just not doing okay, please feel free to take it to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in prayer and wait patiently for him to work things out on your behalf. Uh, welcome back to the channel here at D Space U where the name is apt to change because I really don't like it. I'm going to change it someday. I just don't know when, but for now, let's get into this, shall we? I am going to let you all come into the kitchen with me while I cook something. I'm not going to cook it yet. I'm going to cook it when I get off work. Right now, I'm on my, I'm on my uh, break. And so, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, like kind of like prepared i'm gonna do cabbage and cornbread and i'm gonna use the rest of my the rest of my ham that i had left over from thanksgiving and it's been quite a few days ago y'all but hey i just pray over our food praying that the lord will bless it and keep us safe from harm hurt and danger and you know you know we just thank him for it. so what i'm doing right now is um i just turned on the tv in the living room so i just i like to have some kind of something on so i can be uh sound like i have a little bit of company i don't know not to sound like i have company but i just like I just like to have the TV on. I don't want it all quiet because I'm going to be in the kitchen and I'm going to be talking to you all and I would just like to hear, you know, the sound of <laughs> not being so quiet in here, I guess. Anyway, um, so real quick, I'm, I'm almost done because I'm getting ready to watch my girl, Javlogs Locks. That's my girl. And I want to tell you that I'm coming down here to turn it on down here because I want to hear her video. She's dealing with that same conviction that I've been dealing with for many, many years, you know, about celebrating these holidays. And you know what? Look, the conviction is real. <laughs> and look, such a pretty tree. So, I'm doing this video because I just want people to know, and I, I want, I want J Javon to know that she is not the only one that is feeling convicted. We have been born and raised in these man-made traditions that God is not pleased with, okay? Um, now, I will say it again. I'm not going to condemn anybody that wants to celebrate these holidays, you know? I'm not going to condemn anybody because, one, I know how it is, okay? We have been raised in these families that have been raised in their families, you know, generations ago. And, you know, everybody's just been always just celebrating these pagan holidays, I just washed my hands before I get started. I want everybody to know I just washed my hands before I came downstairs. So, um, the conviction is real and the addiction is real. It's an addiction. How can you not be addicted to, you know, all the pretty lights, the Christmas tree, the Christmas songs, the Christmas movies, the Christmas cartoons, the Christmas cookies, and the 
the whole Christmas shebang bang. You know what? I even enjoy watching uh, Rick Steves, um, Rick Steves Europe when he's like around Christmas time and he he goes to these places that really celebrate Christmas and it's like a like it's major. I mean, it's, Christmas is pretty much major everywhere here in the United States, but. You know, some places seem to get into it a little bit more than others. Anywho, I am clearly woo, struggling with this cabbage. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, the struggle is real. But back to what I was saying, though. You know, I understand the conviction because we have been raised in these families that have been shared, that have been celebrating these holidays and it's been going on for so many years because you know, maybe they've been lied to, the ones that raised us and maybe the they the ones that raised them, maybe they have been lied, they have been lied to too. You know, and uh, not only lied to, but blinded by all the lights, all the festivities, all the fun stuff, the pretty clothes, the pretty shoes, you know. But again, I am not going to condemn anybody for celebrating these holidays because I'm, I'm going to I'm going to make a declaration here. OK. I declare that I did not know your heart. I declare that I don't know my own heart. The Bible says <laughs> that our hearts are, was it deceitful and desperately wicked and who can know it? I can't quote that right on point right now because I need to see it to be able to read it, to be able to quote it right. But. Before I go any further, I would like to say, if you're interested in knowing what I'm talking about or what I'm referring to, please pick up your King James Version Holy Bible. Read it from front to back, and eventually you'll see it in there. And the Holy Bible will correct me and everybody else trying to spread the word of God while possibly making mistakes. The Holy Bible will correct all of us for you so that you can learn the truth for yourself and share it with others boom so i don't know anybody's heart you know i don't know anybody's heart but i will say this though again if you read your king james version holy bible you'll even see this in there i can't quote it as it is written because I'm just winging it right now. You know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I'm I, not trying to justify it. I'm just saying I'm winging this right now. And these are things that I'm talking about that I wasn't planning to talk about. So I'm kind of like going off at of the top of my head about it. But there's somewhere in the Bible where it's basically saying, I'm not quoting, I know that I'm not quoting it as it is written. But it's basically saying not to, you know what I'm saying? Don't disturb your conscience. If your conscience... If your conscience is telling you no and you like get what people call that gut feeling that something ain't right or that the Lord is maybe telling you the Holy Spirit is telling you, you know, is convicting you about something and you just feel it in your spirit that you you're just not feeling well. You're not very confident in what it is that you might be planning to do or planning, you know, maybe even thinking or planning to say or something. You know, don't go against what your conscience saying because if you go against your conscience, then that is sin. If I'm not mistaken, I'm. I always say I'm going to come back with the correct information and and put it in the comments box so that you can see what I'm talking about and you can go read it for yourself. And sometimes I do that. I say it and I never do make it back around to doing that. But Lord willing and Lord, please help me. I will do my best to try and remember to do that so that you can see exactly what the Bible is saying. And you take it from what the Bible says. But I'm just giving you a brief idea of what I'm if what I'm um, 
thinking that it basically is saying i believe that it's saying that if 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 you're feeling in your spirit don't do it then don't do it and if you go against your conscience and you know and you go against the conviction then then it is sin because you are you are rejecting the warning signs that god is giving you okay in other words you know what the holy spirit is giving you you're rejecting it so you are sinning against your own conscience you know when God gives us these warnings, he's giving us a way of escape because when you think about it, celebrating these holidays and stuff, those are just other, those are just more, conv uh, not convictions, convictions, but those are just more temptations, you know? You might want to, you probably feel tempted to celebrate these holidays even though you know deep down something inside of you, um, if you're the type that feels that way. You know, that's deep down something inside of you is telling you that celebrating this holiday is not a good idea. And you do it anyway. Then you are sinning against your own conscience. And then you will have to give an account for that when you stand before God. Because he will, you know, he's giving you the warning signs to look for, to pay attention to. Because he's giving you a way of escape. He said for every temptation. That's why I said it's probably, you know, not probably. But, you know, if you're the type. Hold on just for a second. I'm still talking though. If you're the type that maybe feels like, um, you know, celebrating these holidays are a temptation. Like you might be feeling tempted to celebrate it, but deep down you feel like something just don't feel right. Because you're seeing all the signs, you know. God has many messengers out there that can interpret the Bible, uh, you know, probably a whole lot better than you. You know, he's got plenty of pastors and ministers, but then you can't always really trust them, which is also why God has blessed us with our conscience. But you know what? I'm a, I'm I'm going to say for the for for people that don't believe in Jesus Christ, I will say, you know, that it's your intuition. But if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I'm not going to give it to your and I'm not going to give that one to your to your to your intuition. I'm going to say, you know, the Holy Spirit, okay? The Holy Spirit, not the intuition, but the Holy Spirit, okay? Cuz if you believe Jesus Christ and you follow him and and you have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, you believe in the birth the virgin birth, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, then you have been given the most precious gift of all, and that is the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Spirit is giving you warnings and you don't take heed to the warnings, then like I said, you, you will be sinning against your own conscience and, you know... If anything was to go wrong, you would only have yourself to blame because God has given you his Holy Spirit to help lead you the way that he wants you to go. Nevertheless, I can't express it enough just how much I will not condemn anybody for celebrating these holidays. Now, the Bible says, you know, basically don't condemn anybody that dedicates a day or a certain day to the Lord because it's to the Lord and don't condemn anybody that does not dedicate a certain day unto the Lord because it's unto the Lord because people are doing it some people don't do certain things because they are honoring the Lord and some people do certain things because they are honoring the Lord, which is why I dare not judge anybody for, con you know, I dare not judge anybody that's doing whatever it is that you are doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know your heart. But right now I'm referring to the holidays because there are some things that I probably, you know, 
if I'm not judging you to you, I'll probably be taking it to the Lord in prayer and like, Lord, I don't know what this person just said, but you know, I don't know what they meant. I don't know their heart about it, but it, I, don't, I don't think that was right. And I asked the Lord Jesus that you deal with that person accordingly and help them to, you know, give them the understanding that they need so they can know, you know, the difference between, you know, sinning against you or trespassing against other people. You know what? And not sinning against you and trespassing against other people. Anyway, I'm going here, there, and everywhere. But there is a part in the Bible where it's, uh, like I said, oh, yeah, thank you, Lord, for reminding me. I did. I just said it. That, you know, some, don't, don't, don't condemn people for doing something, for, for honoring the Lord in, in, on a certain day. Because it's unto the Lord, and that's I'm not talking about if you if you're honoring a day, but you know, but you you don't have the Lord in it in your heart. Like if like I'm not saying in other words, I'm not talking about honoring a day or, or dedicating a day. You know what I'm saying, or you know observing a day, um, but. You already know that, that whatever day it is, it doesn't have anything to do with Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about people that are feeling that way. I'm talking about people that are, they love Jesus Christ and they are, they are um, um, observing a day or maybe, um, you know, maybe even, you know, dedicating a certain day unto the Lord because it's something that they are doing for the Lord. For Jesus' name's sake. And I'm talking also about the people. Don't condemn the people that do not do certain things on or, 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 or observe a certain day or whatever. Um, because some, a lot of times people don't. Like, I'm okay, let me just give you a brief example. Because I know that sounds very confusing and stuff. I'll give you a brief example of what I'm referring to. And I'll try to make this video quick, okay? Because I know I can go on and on and on and on and on. But, like a brief example. And this is going to be about the holidays. Let's say for Christmas, for example. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about Christmas. Don't, uh, some people say, okay, you know what? I know it's not Jesus Christ's birthday. Nobody knows when Jesus' birthday is, you know. But because he was born and because he was the greatest gift to the whole world, then we'll just go ahead and celebrate Christmas. But we'll make sure that Jesus Christ is in Christmas. And we'll make sure that we dedicate that whole day unto him. You know, we'll keep it holy unto the Lord. You know, and then you have some people that say, well, you know what? I know that this stuff is pagan, and I'm not going to celebrate it. I'm not going to celebrate it because I know the Lord does not appreciate it. Um, so I'm not going to celebrate it, you know. And they're not celebrating it because they love the Lord, okay? See, they're honoring the Lord by not celebrating the first people that I was talking about, they're honoring the Lord by celebrating. The other people that I mentioned are honoring the Lord by not celebrating it. So this is just an example. So don't take this as me saying that it's okay to celebrate these holidays because that's not what I'm saying. I just wanted to use that as an example to to give, to like to clear up the confusion because I'm not very well at speaking, okay? And I'm just doing the best that I can and I'm not perfect. So yeah. I don't know anybody's heart, but I will say, according to the way I feel for many years now, I have been feeling convicted about celebrating these holidays. Now, not doing Halloween is easy for me, but I can't even be, I have to be honest, it's not 100% easy for me on those days, on, on that holiday either, you know, because I have, you know, I have family members that like to go trick-or-treating. You know, and sometimes they want us to come over and pass out candy and do all that stuff and all that. 
you know what I'm saying? That stuff is evil. When you when it boils when when you when you boil it down to what's really going on and what it really means, that stuff is evil. You know what I'm saying? And we don't need to be having our kids out begging for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I I I do have a bit of an attitude about that. I'm just saying I it, I ain't all it, you know it think that's easy for me. You would think that celebrating not celebrating uh, Halloween is easy to do especially you know if you love the lord and you hate that wickedness you hate the thought that it's the day that the witches get together it's their favorite year day of the year you know what i'm saying where they do all kind of like rituals and you know spells and curses you know they do all kind of just evil stuff you know what i'm saying so the temptation has been real for me um and i have been going against my own conscience trying to appease my family and with christmas even christmas i'm like i'm you know i'm not celebrating i was supposed to have been leaving christmas celebrations alone a long time ago and i'm talking years ago and i haven't gotten to that point yet you know my daughter was like well mom you said when I turn 18, you will stop, you know, because she always like to celebrate Christmas. And who wouldn't want to celebrate Christmas? You know, you about to get gifts and stuff. You know, you about to be with family and doing all kind of fun stuff. And, then, you know, so I'm like, well, okay, well, yeah, I, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But she's not 18 anymore. She's 19, and I already got the Christmas tree up and everything. And so my decision is not... It's not based on what she says. I'm just saying, but it helps me to be tempted. And but I'm going against my own conscience. Now my son, on the other hand, I'm like trying to do little stuff for him, for both of them. Well, me and my husband are trying to do something special for both of them. And he's like, "Well, can't you just give it to me on the day before Christmas, or <laughs> can't you just give it to me on the day after Christmas?" You know, like, cause I, in other words, he's saying. I am not celebrating these holidays. I I appreciate the love, and of course I'm gonna want the gifts. So I'm gonna keep it real. But if you can just give them to me on a day that is not Christmas Day, so when I hear him say that, I'm like, ooh, man, that even adds more to my conviction. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I gotta stop celebrating these holidays because I feel where he's coming from because it's evil. Like. The other day, I was watching Grand Supreme News Channel, and I just want to give a shout out to Grand Supreme News Channel, Joe Vlogs, um, let me see who else, uh, Emmy Ladee, oh, it's so many of them, I can't name them all right now, because it's so, Magina Maria, that's my girl, <laughs> that is my girl, oh my goodness, anywho, back to what I was saying. On Grand Supreme News Channel, he was showing that in a Disney movie, I don't know if it was a Disney movie or if it was a Disney play or a Disney. I don't know what it was, but they have these kids holding up the sign that says that was they all had the letters for the word Santa. OK, and somehow, I don't know, maybe the little kid got I'm hoping it's because the little kid got in the wrong place, but I can't imagine a kid being in the wrong place. You know, with his letter, you know, and, and messing up the word and the people that are videotaping them and, you know, the adults that are seeing what's going on that they probably really can't see because, you know, they're holding up the letters like facing this way. So they can just see their letters and they probably, I don't know, maybe they're not just looking to see who has what letter. They're just so busy showing their own letter that they're holding up anyway. It said, um, Satan. It was spelled S-A-N-T-A-N instead of S-A-N-T-A. Okay? So, we ain't going to, and that's let alone claws. Let, let's, that's let alone Satan's claws, okay? Why are they talking Santa Claus? We, that's let alone Satan's claws. But, you see where I'm going with this? If that was a, the, if that child was in the wrong order, 
And they just, you know, maybe they messing around, playing too much. You know how kids do. <laughs> so happy to see their parents and, you know, just probably tired to keep standing there. They keep probably having to keep doing that picture over again because somebody else them did something in the, in the picture. And they had to maybe take it a thousand times over. You know what I'm saying? Just what kids do. If somebody's child was in the wrong order, why, why didn't somebody tell that child to get in his right place okay why didn't they tell him to get in that in his right place you know was that a setup or what because i i don't get it i don't get it so when you see that and then you look around at your house and you see your christmas tree over there looking all pretty you see you watching all these christmas movies and and you see that <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Then you'd be like, ooh, I don't know, Lord. I don't know. I'm thinking that you are convicting me to telling me, you know, I think you're telling me to stop celebrating this because that ain't right. That's not, that, that, that is not right. You know? And when you think about it, Black Friday after Thanksgiving, why is it called Black Friday? You know what I'm saying? Black Friday. <laughs> You know, and that's almost like a black upside down cross almost. Nah, I'm, I'm messing with you though. But when you think about it though, really think about it though, you know, maybe that probably really is saying something. So I'm just basically saying to don't go against your conscience. If your conscience is telling you that celebrating these holidays is not cool, I'll be right back. I'm standing, I'm over here throwing this in the trash. If your conscience is telling you that celebrating these holidays, and don't mind my, this is my, this is my go-to nightgown. This is my granny, grand, grand. <laughs> I eat in it. I use it. I wipe everything with it. So it's all messed up. So that's why I'm trying to, got my robe on to try and cover it up. Ooh, my, ooh. I didn't even realize I got my robe on inside out. The other day, my husband was like, babe. Do you realize that you have your nightgown, your your robe on inside out? And I was like, oh wow, I do it all the time. I don't, I don't care. But um, if your conscience is telling you not to participate in this, then you be your own judge. Okay, you be the judge. And you know, and remember what I and maybe what other people are saying about not going against your own conscience, okay? And uh, so, I'm getting ready to cut up this other one. Because y'all, before I go, because it's at 27 seconds and 20 20 to so 27 minutes and 26 seconds now. So I better hurry up. I don't want to go past 30, 30 minutes because I know people be like, oh, girl, you ain't got to be talking that much. Jeez, gonna you let set the captives free? Why don't you? But anywho, y'all, this food is going up. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. I don't know if you're like me. But these cookies, oh, they're so good. <laughs> they done went up. Okay. I thought I was getting ready to pay $4. I think it was, what, $4 at Kroger and 49 cents or something like that. Man, that thing was like $5 and some change for like 12 cookies. Y'all get ready. Now... You know what? And if you're going to be celebrating these holidays, can I just offer one suggestion? Or maybe a couple suggestions? Can I just say, while you're out there doing your Christmas shopping, be mindful of the prices of the food. And buy a lot of canned goods and non-perishable foods. And I'm doing that video this video and i'm saying and i'm looking in the camera so that when i see this video i'll see me looking at me too saying don't forget to buy canned goods plenty 
and plenty of water while you have the money to do it because the prices are skyrocketing like crazy and I keep hearing about all these power outages and how this is going to be a really scary summer this summer because I mean not this summer oh what am I talking about it's going to be a really dangerous cold winter and um, they're saying that the fuel gas stations are running out of fuel to sell you know they're saying that people are getting behind on their energy bills I even heard somebody say something about how they're getting ready to mandate that we can only use a certain amount of our heat this winter. I don't know how true that is. But y'all, I'm telling you, the non-perishable foods will come in handy. You know, they will come in handy, especially the ones that you don't have to cook. You can just open it up and it's already ready to eat it. You know, you don't even have to refrigerate it. So just get ready. All right. I'm going to finish doing what I'm in here doing in this kitchen before it's time for me to go back to work. And um, I love you all. And uh, thanks again for tuning in to D Space for Space U. All right. Come again. All right. Because I like talking to y'all. I hope you like talking to me. Till next time. Take care. I love you. Shalom.